नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन पेपर फिजिक्स सेक्शन एंड दिस इज अवर सेवेंथ वीडियो इन दैट सीरीज वेर वी विल बी सॉल्विंग द फिफ्टी सेकेंड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पेपर दैट इज सेवेंथ वन फ्रॉम फिजिक्स लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट फोर पॉइंट चार्जेस क्यू निगेटिव टू क्यू निगेटिव थ्री क्यू एंड फोर क्यू आर प्लेस्ड एट द फोर वर्टाइस ऑफ अ रेग्युलर टेट्राइड्रन ऑफ साइड एल Uh, while a charge 5q is placed at its center what is the total electrostatic energy of the system a vacuum permittivity is denoted by epsilon not and we are going to assume that uh, all these charges have kept in vacuum and we have four options and as you can see here the options differ only in the constant okay the numerical constant in the numerator with its sign in options uh, a and b it is 15 with a negative sign for a and in options c and d it is 30 with the negative sign for c correct so uh i want to tell you two things to uh, to solve which we need to solve this problem the first thing is the formula that we use to calculate the electrostatic potential energy of a two charge system okay you might probably know it so if we have a two charge system let us say we have charges q1 and q2 separated by distance r kept in vacuum then what is the potential energy it is 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 upon r that is the formula now in this system we have got five charges right uh, one each at the vertex Uh, at every vertex and uh, one of the, the the last one the fifth one which is also 5q it is placed at the center or centroid okay so let me draw a rough sketch of this structure okay suppose this is that uh, regular tetrahedron i'm going to draw this edge in red color well it is behind uh, the screen okay and let us name these uh, points now q is here negative 2q is here negative 3q is here uh, 4q is here and somewhere inside okay let me show that in blue color somewhere inside is our charge 5q okay and it is at the center of a regular tetrahedron okay now uh, you might okay so that's the second point that i want to tell you this point let us call it p okay the blue dot the blue dot is going to be equidistant okay the blue dot is going to be uh, equidistant from every vertex because the tetrahedron is regular okay because the tetrahedron is regular tetrahedron now the next thing is do we need to know the distance of this point the centroidal point from the sides uh, from the vertices the answer is no the, they have selected these values 1 negative 2 negative 3 4 and 5 in such a way that that term vanishes as we shall see later but in case if you did not know that centroidal distance okay that centroidal distance is Uh, root of root of three by eight times the edge length L, and here they have given us that the side of the centroid, ah, uh, sorry, side of the tetrahedron is L. So this is L. In fact, all the sides of the all the edges of the tetrahedron have length L. So combining the two, we can now easily find the potential energy of the system. Okay, fine. So let me uh, also write down the charges again. so that i will not be required to scroll it q negative 2q 4q and 3q oh negative 3q sorry negative 3q 4q and 5q okay fine so let us now consider the pairs first of all let us consider the vertices as pairs okay and uh, we can also write q squared outside and in the denominator 4 pi epsilon not because we know these numbers are not going to matter much okay and we will let's also include l here the separation distance being an electrostatic situation the charges are not going to move correct 
See now this formula is basically 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and r this part is there and also q squared so q and q2 are there but except for the coefficients okay now we will start with q and we'll uh, pair it one by one with the remaining charges okay fine uh, so uh, first q negative 2 q so that will be negative 2 then q negative 3 q so that will be negative 3 then q and 4 so plus 4 uh, let us exclude 5q now we will come back to 5q later uh, now what now let us go to negative 2q okay now negative 2q needs to be paired with not q because that has already been considered so negative 2q into negative 3q that will be 6q squared then negative 2q into 4q so that will be negative 8 and at last negative 3q into 4q so that will be negative 12 now this is up upon l because all the charges which are at the vertices they are at a distance l from each other which is equal to the length of the side of the tetrahedron because the tetrahedron is regular now let us uh, look at this centroidal distance which is root 3 uh, by 8 l okay even if you don't know it that's fine and it is in the denominator so let us uh, write it as root of 8 upon 3 okay root of uh, 8 upon 3 into now let us take the product of each of these charges with 5q so 1 into 5 will be 5 negative 2 into 5 will be negative 10 negative 3 into 5 will be negative 15 and 4 into 5 will be positive 20 now these 4 they will add up to 0 right 20 plus 5 25 10 plus 15 25 but with a negative sign so this will be 0 so even if you did not know the formula for centroidal distance that would have still given you the solution okay now we just need to calculate this okay let us add the positive numbers first 4 and 6 10 let us add the negative numbers now uh, 12 and 8 uh, 20 20 plus 3 23 23 plus 2 25 so that is 10 minus 25 that will be negative 15 so negative 15 has to be the coefficient of q squared upon 4 pi epsilon not l okay so cd go negative 15 q squared upon 4 pi epsilon not l so that is going to be our answer okay let us again check it once negative 15 that is right and q squared 4 pi epsilon not l so correct option is 